Are you ready for a trip to Food Baby City? I'm ready. I'm ready. And there we go, people. Oh my God, I'm shaking. Absolute whopper. Look at that. Oh, that was disgusting, okay? I will put the full workout overview up there. Let's have a look at this bad boy. Oh my God, full on trip to Heart Attack City. But nonetheless, welcome to the video. Again, this is gonna be a nice quick full day of eating, showing you some nice high volume recipes that you can incorporate into your meal plan. So if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get shopping for the ingredienti you're gonna need. And for today's video, we are gonna feature the motherland numero due o tre, Aldi, of course. Because not only is this gonna be a high volume meal plan, but it's also gonna be budget friendly. So another reason for you to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. So here we go, this is what you're gonna need. So the first thing is gonna be a big bag of spinacho, then another staple, of course, some eggs, some 50% less fat cheese. And you already know, for the macros of this meal, we are considering this to be fat-free cheese because Ireland still hasn't hopped on the fat-free cheese hype. So yes, use your imagination. Imagination. Then for protein, some sort of sliced deli meat. And then there is one final ingredient, a key ingredient that you're gonna need, but Aldi doesn't have it. So you already know what that means. I'm coming home, I'm coming home to the motherland numero uno. I have faith in you, motherland numero uno, although this is a difficult ingredient to get, but here we go. Yes, people, we are in business. The ingredient you're gonna need, some brogies. Yes, people, let's keep this short and sweet. So the recipe and the full ingredients will be down below. But essentially, we have a nice little bit of an egg scrambly dambly do. There, we did add in some tomatoes and some onions just for taste, and we seasoned it with some hot chili powder and some garlic. Then we have five, yes, five brugies, each one topped with a little handful of spinach. We have our cheese there, and then under here we have our chicken. So the first thing to do, of course, is gonna to be to fill up the brogies with a layer of the scramble once all the eggs are cooked. Then we get our shikin here. Yeah. Yes, I'm glad that worked. So we put a slice of chicken on each of the brogies. So five slices of chicken. And then unless you are an absolute nincompoop, you've probably guessed it already. Congratulations. If you guessed correctly, then you are not a nincompoop, but we add a little sprinkly dinkly do of cheese on top. Then we get one. These are very delicate. Oh my God. We put two of them probably will fit under the grill at a time. So there's one, there's two. Oh my God, that one's cracked. And you put that under the grill to melt the cheese and you know the deal. Yes, people, familia mexicana, donde estamos? We have five breakfast tacos of peace. And you already know if you had smell a vision <laughs> Smells very Mexicano. Arriba, arriba. <laughs> okay, and in terms of the macros, you are talking 30 grams of carbs, eight fat, and 69 grams of protein. So just 468 calories. And the amount of volume you get is just key, okay? The brogies are an absolute game changer. You can sort of adapt them as well, make any recipe you want. But we got the nice little bit of a cheese. We got the egg scrambly dambly do in there, and that is gonna be your breakfast. So without further ado, let's move on with the meal plan and get on to your lunch. Okay, so we are back in the motherland. Numero due or tre in this case. But yes, this is gonna be the first thing you need. Say it with me, some broccoli florets. Then we're gonna need some more eggs, or in this case, egg whites. Some shroomy doomy doomies. The staple ingredient, red onion. Some sort of low calorie tomato sauce. So you can see in this per serving only 50 calories. So that one is key. Then we're gonna need some ham. So as lean as possible, preferably. A tin of pineapple slices. And finally, it's gonna be some more of our fat free cheese. And for the hater there saying it's not fat free. <sighs> then you know what I have to say about you, Mr. Hater? I appreciate you because I appreciate everyone who tunes in to watch the videos. But yes, nonetheless, if you haven't already guessed what we're gonna make, we are gonna make up like a deep dish broccolini or broccoli Hawaiian pizza. Okay, comment down below. Hawaiian pizza, yes or no? Ham and pineapple. Anyway, keeping with a short and sweet sort of theme, you're gonna need a casserole dish the size of your head. Look at that bad boy. We have all the ingredients. So the broccoli, the eggs, the onion, mushrooms, tomatoes, tomato sauce, the pineapple, and then the low fat cheese or the fat free cheese. So the first thing to do is of course layer the bottom with the broccoli. So we have just over half a bag of broccoli then. We add in our eggs, so a mixture of whole eggs and egg whites. We get our mushrooms, tomato, and our onion. We add those on top, and oh baby, this is turning out high volume already. Then you get your tomato sauce. 
sprinkly dinkly do that over the top and then if you're not a nincompoop you already know you're gonna get your slices of ham here we go look at those bad boys and then shred that on top nicely like so distributed with the pineapple and then famiglia italiana dove siamo si ragazzi mettiamo la mozzarella sul prosciutto e l'ananas or in other words we put the mozzarella on the ham and the pineapple then of course we come over to the steroid cupboard we get some garlic salt and then some oregano give that a beautiful sprinkly dinkly do and another sprinkly dinkly do and that is your pizza ready? So we have preheated the oven. As you can see, the parents are getting a fishy sort of pasta dish ready. We have preheated the oven there. Oh my God, that is hot. We get our nice little pizza dish. We put that in the middle like so. Close it up and you know the deal. Bish, bash, bash. Oh my God, that is very, very hot. But Familia Italiana, oh my God, I swear. If you thought the last smell of vision test was good, Oh my god, that literally smells like a pizza and look at it, all the cheese is just melted. Oh my god, the ham, the nice little bit of saltiness. That is your pizza of peace. Again, out of casserole dishes, the size of your head. So yes, in terms of macros, you are talking 36 carb only, 13 fat and 67 grams of protein. So 529 calories for this whole dish. I swear, seriously, try this out. It has just come out beautifully, man. The smell is Molto buono, but anyway, that is gonna be our lunch. So yes, let's move on with the meal plan as per usual and get on to your dinner. And we are back and this is the first ingredient you're gonna need, my baby brother, the baby potato. Then comment down below, is it tomato or tomato? But yes, we're gonna need some tomatoes. Yet another big ass bag of spinach, a pretty decently sized can of tuna in brine. Whatever you do, not the tuna in sunflower oil. Do not commit that sin. Do me proud, family. Once again, we're gonna need some eggs. And then final ingredient is gonna be a big ass bag of green beans. So that is everything. Now let's make up this bad boy. So step numero uno is to get a bowl the size of your head. Then the first layer is gonna be the green beans. Hello. <laughs> Yes, I was not lying when I said the bowl is the size of my head. So that is your first layer. And the second layer, we have our spinacho. So you know what that means? Boom! Ah! Perfecto. You know why we add a whole bag of spinach? Because we can. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done that. Anyway, then we have our toppings. So we have our tomato, we have our tuna, then some hard boiled eggs. Man was prepared on last night, boiled some eggs at like two in the morning. So cue the sexy B-roll of that. sexy so yes we have the spinach we have all of our ingredients then we have shredded up the potatoes with a cheese grater and made some sort of hash brown so we're gonna take this come over to oh oh god this is the harsh reality of trying to do a cooking series hey. trying to find space on the hog what do we have here actually we have some sort of fishy pasta <laughs> in the tagliatelle or what are they some Spaghetti sort of alla guitarra. Spaghetti alla guitarra. So yes, we are probably gonna steal this hob after they are done. And then we're gonna fry these up and you know the deal. Bish, bosh, bosh, family. We have the whole bowl the size of your head filled and topped. Beautiful. And that, my friend, is what you call a salad niçoise, okay? An anabolic salad niçoise. And for those interested, it's called niçoise because it was actually originated in Nice in France. Oh my God, history lesson, Mr. Scott coming in clutch with the teaching skills. But yes, look at this bad boy. In terms of macros as well, super macro friendly. You're talking 72 carbs, but take away the potatoes and you pretty much have like barely any. 16 fat and 62 protein. So 680 calories for this whole bowl. And that is gonna send you on a trip to anabolic city and food baby city. So yes, try this out. Let me know if you like it. And you're probably like, oh my God, please stop. I'm having a food baby. I don't need any more food. Well, I'm sorry. Okay, you know we have to finish off the day strong with a macro capper, so that can only mean one thing. Let's go shopping for the ingredienti. And we are out banging out the steps, catching up on steps. I never have to catch up on steps, but we're taking the boxes, of course, and we're finishing off with a trip to Motherland numero uno. Now, before we get to the ingredients, full shout out to IA Fitness, okay, for the recipe idea. I've never made it, but 
it looks like an absolute game changer. So the first thing you need is some cocoa powder. Then this is the key ingredient that Little have that he used. So yes, I've never used this. Could be a disaster, but some gelatin, some sort of milk. So he used skim milk, but I'm sure you could probably go for anything. Of course, as with pretty much every recipe, some sort of sweetener, you know, we use sucralose. And of course there are one or two more ingredienti you're gonna need, which really make this pop. And you probably guess what they are. God, why does this keep happening to me? Another box of my protein goodies. Well, I'm not complaining, but yes, we do have another parcel, and this is what we got. Oh, baby. Okay, so we have a Stroop waffle, little one kilo, a sticky toffee pudding sample, a chocolate brownie sample, two white chocolate flavor drops, aka the goat. <laughs> oh my days. And you know a flavor is good when you get a whole five kilo bag. So a five kilo bag of salted caramel. So this can only mean one thing. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that is very heavy and that could have been an absolute disaster. But yes, that and the flavor drops are gonna be your two little ingredienti to make this really pop. Okay, so we have everything on the table now. Okay, this does actually require you to prep this in advance, okay? So preferably, you have like a whole day to let it set. So we actually prepared this yesterday. So you know who's coming in to bring you in the recipe? Mr. Wante Kid on the sexy B-roll. In three, two, one. I'm back and I am most definitely gonna mess this up. What is up, family? I hope you're all okay. So here we go. Oh my god, actually, I'll probably link, first of all, I will link, like, all the ingredients to the recipe and everything down below, but I'll probably link the video of IA Fitness as well, because he explains it way better than my stupid potato-ness does. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna put your sheets of gelatin in uh, a Tupperware of water, then you're gonna fill up a protein shake or a shaker with one scoop of whey protein, okay, because this is protein pudding. So there we go, fill it up. Give it a nice little bit of a shake. Give it a shake, Scott. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Pop it in. Comment your favorite flavor of whey protein down below, actually. Be interested to find out. So give that a shake. Now, the next thing you're going to do is find another Tupperware and put that whey protein mix into that because technically you're going to be pouring in uh, the gelatin or mixing the two eventually into one big container, as you saw. Um, no, you haven't seen the final product yet, but yeah, it's basically one big Tupperware. So you're going to microwave the gelatin until it literally starts boiling. Okay, you want it fully dissolved and you're just going to get like a little bit of the residue of the whey protein um, out and put that back in. Okay, so you're going to put now all of your other ingredienti into that one while the gelatin Tupperware is steaming up nicely. And you're just going to give it a nice little stir with whatever utensil you can find. I suggest a fork. There you go. Stirring it. It might not stir that well at the start, but it will eventually as you get going. Okay, look at that. That's what I mean. It's literally bubbling. <laughs> okay, then you add the cold to the warm. Not the warm to the cold. Okay, I don't know why, but anyway. <laughs> I read that, like, if you do it the other way around, it just comes out a complete mess, okay? Then you're just gonna let it set and put it in the fridge overnight, and that is a wrap. Goodbye! And there we go, family. Il prodotto finale. Literally, like, two kilos of food. And give it a little jelly test. <laughs> we did have a bit of an issue. We put it in the outside fridge, and it sort of, like, froze on top. So, yes, don't do that. Make sure it's just a normal fridge. But yes, it is still set nicely. And in terms of macros, guys, this is literally a game changer. 15 carb, four fat, and 29 protein. So just 212 calories for this whole thing. And that is gonna be your macro capper. You'll probably be up pissing all night, but it's worth it because you will have a food baby and you'll be sleeping good. So that is your final meal of the day. And you already know, that's right, the leftover life is gonna be so real tomorrow, at least I won't have to cook. But yes, this is your whole meal plan for just 1,900 calories. You have your salad, your jelly, your breakfast tacos, and your pizza. I mean, perfecto. Deja vu, boobity boo. Oh my God, that was absolutely disgusting. I'm keeping it real, okay? The body is sore. I am definitely doing too much on the brink of overreaching, overtraining, like literally I could just feel inflamed and just swollen. So nonetheless, we ticked it off. So let's wrap up this video. Mm, boo! Transition through the forehead. Oh my God. I am very, very tired. I'm not gonna lie. I know I sort of don't open up very often, but 
and going through a few sort of issues, family issues and stuff and things aren't exactly ideal at the moment but training and doing YouTube is sort of my escapism so yes thank you for being there for me even though you're probably not realizing it and thank you for watching so yes in terms of the overall macros you are talking 152 carb 42 fat and 227 grams of protein so 1894 calories boom that is that finito hopefully you enjoyed it and again sorry or just let me know actually if you like or don't mind me doing these sort of like short sweet snappy like full day of eating and if you do then tough luck because <laughs> i'm probably gonna still keep doing them but of course alongside still the top quality video so yes that's the end of this video hope you'll have a good day and see you on the next one Boop.